Hello everyone uh, and thank you for joining the webinar. My name is Martin Michalik and I'm a product manager at Cantico. Uh, today we're going to talk about the changes that are coming to online marketing functionality with freshly released Cantico 10. I hope you are all excited because today I'm going to tell you a lot of information. Uh, I'm going to show you a lot of new interesting features. So ladies and gentlemen, please fasten your seatbelts as we are going to start. But before we start, let me begin with a picture of the situation today if you're a marketer. There is a plenty of activities that you have to take care of every single day. To mention a few, you have to produce the right content because having just some content is not enough and you have to find the one that your customers are attracted to. Then you have to optimize the journey so you provide them with an exceptional digital experience so they are not not only more likely convert, but also return to your own business. Only then your ROI of your marketing activities is optimized and improved. And you have to do this analysis and optimization across all your digital channels so your messaging is consistent. So as you can see, it is a lot of activities. And just that's just a few. Uh, I could be talking about these challenges for another half an hour, but don't worry, I won't. That's not my point. I just wanted to stress the situation and I hope we can all agree that it is quite tough to be a marketer in 2016. And therefore during this year we've launched several research activities. We're talking with marketers about their everyday activities, campaigns they're launching, etc. Now let me thank to all of you who have found the time in your busy schedules to talk with us. You're absolutely amazing, you provided us with a lot of feedback and you helped us to shape the product to fit your needs. Thank you again. But we leveraged this information that we've gained uh, through the research uh, and we were able to identify three main areas that we wanted to address in Cantico 10 to make lives of, lives of marketers easier. The first problem we're addressing is reducing number of repetitive tasks and context switching. We all hate it. We hate the stereotype of repetitive tasks and myself personally, I hate losing the focus because of the context switching. And it was even proved by American Psychological Association that even brief mental blocks created by shifting between tasks can cost as much as 40% of someone's productive time. That's insane, 40%. Can you imagine how much work that is that could be done? It's, it's insane, therefore, Addressing this problem was our number one priority. The second problem we are addressing with version 10 is getting a holistic view of the right data at the right time. Today we live in the data, uh, we live in an era of data abundance and it is common that marketers have to go to different places, collect the data, put it in one heap and then maybe get a holistic view. And can you imagine how great it would be if you could access all the data needed from one place? So this is the second problem we're addressing in version 10. And the last problem we decided to tackle with version 10 is providing the context needed for optimization. Because in order to optimize the digital experience of your customers, you have to know at what step of the journey they are the most engaged and also at what step your customers are leaving you. And with the right information, you can then fix your leaking funnels. So these are the three main problems we are addressing with version 10. And now that we've introduced them, let's look at the solutions. And the first solution addressing those problems is our improved email marketing and subscribers management. Now, I know that all of you have newsletters that you're regularly sending to your subscribers, to your subscriber base that is growing over time. But otherwise, the management of your so subscribers base for newsletters is rather straightforward. You basically send the emails to the same people all over again. But sometimes you need a different approach. Sometimes you need to send a special tailored email to a special group of customers. And then maybe you need to send them a follow-up or you want to target different groups uh, in your campaign with a slightly different messaging. And therefore, to make it easier for you, with Canticle 10, we are reinventing email campaigns. What that means? 
in Cantico 10, you will be able to choose what type of email feed you want to send to your customers, newsletter or email campaign. And I know that you right now you might be asking, what's the difference? Well, let's see. Let's go to email marketing. And the first thing you'll notice that there are email feeds. Uh, you can also see that directly there, there's opt-out list where you can manage all the people who unsubscribe for all your marketing activities. But let's go back to feeds. And you can notice that there are two types of email messages, newsletters and email. And the difference is in the way how they handle the recipients. While every email that is a part of newsletter group shares the same recipient base, every email within an email campaign has its own recipient base. So when I switch to the emails, you won't see there's no, uh, no, uh, no uh, subscribers management, and you might know it from uh, from the newsletters, but you see the statistics instead. But when I go deeper, you will, well, you will notice the email recipient stop, where you can actually e easily manage your subscribers, uh, your recipients of your emails, and you, you can also easily see the number of total marketable recipients in the particular email. You can then easily add or remove contact groups, and all the information will be updated for you. So you can really easily get insights. But you can also view the individual recipients in the email. You see the number is the same. And you can also see whether uh, the people are members of some uh, contact group. And you can also see which contact group they are a member of. But now how it works with newsletters. Uh, let's see. With newsletters, it's quite similar. but instead of going to an individual email, uh, you will manage your recipients on the level of the newsletter. So the recipients based is going to be shared for all the emails. This helps you to reduce the number of tasks that you have to do. You don't have to define uh, your new subscribers and your audience every single time you want to send a newsletter, but also gives you flexibility in want to target the people with some tailored messaging. And you can also see that here I have people uh, that are actually uh, uh, listed here as people who opted out from my, from my uh, email marketing. And the system uh, is checking it for you so you won't accidentally send them an email. So this is another task that is uh, reduced from you, and you don't have to care about this. It's really great. And I was I was talking in the beginning that we also improved uh, subscribers management. And what I mean uh, by that? Well, we decided to streamline number of entities marketers have to work with. And since version 10, the only two entities that can be used as email recipients our contacts and contact groups. We decided to this change in order to improve usability of the solution by reducing the confusion. I know that some of you are asking now, but what about my subscribers? I'm not using EMS edition. Don't worry. You will be able to keep using email marketing in all editions of Cantico. How? Well, we simply enabled contact management in all editions. So this means you can use the new email feeds and still benefit from the improved usability and easily manage all your contacts across all the editions. But I have to mention that contact management capabilities are limited in lower editions. And the fun functionality uh, such as uh, automatic contact and activity tracking is available only in the EMS edition. So, this was email marketing, but in the beginning, I was also mentioning uh, some imp uh, uh, some improvements to other areas. Uh, I was talking about getting a holistic view, and now I'm going to show you uh, basically the reason behind uh, today's uh, name of the webinar, uh, which is the redesign of contact management. The old contact management, as you knew it from previous version, 
has been sent basically for a plastic surgery. If I can use this, uh, uh, this uh, way how to say it. And today I'm going to show you how, you how we use the knowledge gained from our interviews with you guys and created a new cross-site contact profile that provides a holistic view on our contacts and reduces, and reduces contact switching. So let's see it in action. Let's go to contact management and we'll search for Monica, our prospective client. And then we will search for her profile, yes. You can see she's prospective client. And when you open her profile, you will get uh, the view of our new profile uh, of every contact in the system. And here you can see all the information that we've been able to gather about Monica so far. You can see her contact details, uh, her address, uh, her email, ad uh, email address, and status whether she's receiving uh, marketing emails. You can also see her private and business phones, the company she works for, and persona uh, she was identified with. You can also she you can also see the score she gained. Then you can see her newsletter subscriptions, whether she's a member of uh, any contact group, and you can see also the forms she submitted. Finally, you can see the notes uh, you add to her profile uh, by, for example, some of the teams of, of, your, of your cells. So, this is, the inf this is the new profile. It concentrates the information to one place and significantly improves uh, the way how marketers can work with contact. Uh, but I was talking uh, about minimizing the contact switching. Uh, how this profile can help you with this? Well, all applications that are somehow related uh, to this profile, for example, the newsletter subscriptions or the campaigns, are easily accessible from this profile. So let's see. When I click on the campaign, a new tab with the specific campaign will be open and I can see the campaign report. So I can access the campaigns right away. When I click on newsletters, the specific newsletter will be opened in a separate tab. Again, I can work with the newsletter afterwards. Or I can click on contact group, the same goes for contact groups or I can access the data she submitted in a form. All the information, really easy. But then you can also access her activities and you can see also on what side she did the particular activity. So this profile really uh, provides you with an easier way how you can access the information. This is the power we are bringing you by concentrating the focus to one contact profile and we really believe this will help you to get the right information at the right time with the minimum of contact switching needed. Now, this is the information you have about contact, uh, but sometimes you need to know how your customers were interacting with your site during a campaign, so you have to have the right contextual data and that's where the improved uh, campaign management comes into play. Uh, last year we introduced you our new integrated campaign management and it, that was redesigned with focus on usability and efficiency. Uh, the same principles that uh, we used when we were building our new contact profile. And this year we were continuing in our efforts with focus on conversion and reporting. Our goal was to provide marketers with easier setup of reporting so they have the right contextual information they need for the customer journey optimization. So with no further ado, let's see it in action. The first thing you'll see when you open our campaign management is the overview of all your campaigns. You can easily see what's the campaign status what's their performance against your goal you set, and in case the campaign is scheduled, you'll also see when the campaign is going to go live. When you open a running or finished campaign, you'll land on the report tab, so you can directly and fast see how your campaign is performing. 
you will see whether you're close to reaching your goal that you set and then you will see statistics about individual conversions. Here we have several conversions. We have from submissions, page visits, and user registration. And that's just a few of the supported uh, conversions in version 10. For every conversion, you can also see the source of your, uh, of your traffic. So you can see and identify uh, whether you can attribute those conversions to LinkedIn, Twitter, email, and so on. And then you can switch to the campaign journey. And there you can see how people were actually proceeding through the steps you define and where you can also see how many of them were actually dropping during the journey. So this is the information, the context that Kansiko 10 will allow you to get so you can focus, so you know what you should focus and what you should optimize. Again, in the report you can see the and the individual conversions. And you can also see this information for every single step of the journey. And finally, you can see the conversion rate. But you might be thinking, how do I actually uh, define, uh, define the tracking, define how, uh, uh, how I will measure those conversions? And let me switch to properties, and you will see. Uh, as you might know from version 9, you can add the campaign uh, properties, you can get the content, you can also add emails to promote your campaign. But the important part is the section called campaign report setup. So let's see you want let's say you want to add a conversion. Simply you can click on the button and then select from one out of eight out of the box supported conversions. Let's go with subscription to newsletter and I'll select the newsletter and the conversions it's added to my campaign. Similarly, I can add any conversion I want. For example, I can add purchase, which is also out of the box supported functionality and is connected to our e-commerce. When I'm done with the report step, I, uh, four of the conversions, I can similarly define the steps I want to track within the journey. So it's really up to you how you define the journey and how you lead your customers through your campaign. Finally, you can edit or set a goal for your campaign. When you have this setup ready, you can switch uh, to the schedule tab and actually set the schedule for your campaigns. So it can be automatically published for you and you don't have to care about all the overhead uh, connected with publishing a campaign. Amazing thing about this reporting is that it automatically tracks all of the activities in the background so you always have the complete data. With this new reporting you don't have to worry when you forget to add a conversion to a campaign. I know uh, this is actually something uh, marketers are sometimes uh, worried uh, about, uh, that they will break the reporting uh, and they will have to start the uh, campaign all over again, but not with this reporting. You can simply add it to even a running campaign and you won't break anything, all because the data is tracked for you in the background. And I believe this kind of reporting is quite unique. And now, what's my, again, favorite part about the campaigns? It has to be the concentration of information to one place. I can see that my campaigns are uh, uh, finished. I can see it right away. And I can see the goal that I set for my campaign. And I can see uh, whether I uh, met my goal. But I can also easily access the report uh, from uh, 
the campaign report so I can dive more deep into the email reporting and can even access the people that were actually opening my emails. So the part I like the most is how marketers can access the information they need exactly at the moment they need and everything is again concentrated to one place. But in the beginning I was also talking about uh, the era of data abundance and I was telling you that uh, making sense of data is not easy today and therefore uh, we decided to leverage our strategic partnership uh, with Microsoft and today we're introducing a device and a platform agnostic dashboard that leverages Microsoft Power BI technology to provide marketers with actionable information about their email marketing activities. And this is how it looks like. The Power BI thing provides you with interactive reports. Uh, the reports are focused on email marketing and here you can see overall statistics about my email campaigns. For example, unique versus total clicks, my, uh, my funnel performance, you can also see uh, my subscriber base and the great thing about these reports is that they are interactive. So when I click on some of my uh, emails, all the reports are updated. Then I can get some more insights on uh, email delivery or email open analysis where you can see uh, more detailed information about the rates, uh, when the emails were opened uh, by time and by day, you can also see uh, decays of opens and you can also compare the emails uh, based on the highest open rate. Finally, you can see a map that represents uh, people who were interacting with my emails and you can easily filter uh, through them. So you can easily slice and dice your reporting. The same goes for email click analysis and finally you can analyze performance of your, of your links. The great thing and the, one of the main benefits of these reports is that they are easily extensible. With little to no effort you can modify or extend these templates, for example by data from Google Analytics, uh, Microsoft Dynamics or Salesforce. Uh, or you can even add your own visuals and create your own dashboards tailored uh, exactly uh, to your specific needs. And the best thing about all of this is that you can then easily share these reports with your colleagues, your clients or your boss, literally anyone using simple shareable link. With this kind of reports you will always have the right data easily accessible at any time. So. Uh, let me uh, sum it up what I showed you so far. Today I showed you how you can leverage new email campaigns and improve subscribers management to help you reduce the repetitive task and boost your productivity. Then I showed you how you can get a holistic view on your context and access all the crucial information from one place. Uh, I also showed you how you can leverage campaigns uh, campaign tracking and campaign journey analysis to improve your campaigns and optimize the digital experience of your customers. And finally, I introduced you our new Power BI dashboard that you can use for analyzing, analyzing your email marketing activities. But that's not all. There's one last thing I want to mention today and that's the performance and scalability. And I'm happy to tell you that we've made Cantico 10 the most scalable 10 Cantico release in, his, in its history. We've successfully tested version 10 with more than 100 millions of contacts and more than 1 billion activities. And the great and amazing thing about this, it's not even the hard limit. You can reach even more, but of course uh, some of the scenarios require better hardware. But these numbers, these numbers make Cantico 10 
the most business focused and the most enterprise ready release yet. So this is really my last piece today and if you have any questions you can uh, use the chat and we'll answer them after the webinar or you can send me an email. You can also reach me via LinkedIn and if you like to you can try uh, Cantico 10 and download it uh, from my product side. So this is going to be all uh, from my side and thank you very much uh, for your attention.